Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mr. here to bring you another awesome, spooky brand new video of Dying Light. In the last episode, we just arrived to this infested hellhole with a mission. And now we have to blend in and gain the trust of the locals. What kind of missions and what kind of monsters are we going to face? Watch this episode and find out. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Okay, it seems like to keep my cover and find out where the bad guy is, I need to go along with this. Still have to repay them, I mean, they did save my life. I really like conversations that the NPCs have. It makes things so much more realistic. Hello? Alright, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, Ooh. you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges. Okay, what nest? Really? What do you mean? <laughs> Explosives? Oh, never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Well, yeah. he did treat me you the first time I met die? him. You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be Ooh, siblings. Nice since I'm the only family you have left, especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. <laughs> no explosives, Rahim. I think Amir was their sibling too. I'm not really sure. It gets a little bit complicated. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I guess this is my room, and I guess I'm sharing it with someone. Put on fresh wear. Huh. A little bit messy, but it will do. <laughs> this is your player stash. You can change clothes here as well as leave items for storage. As your survival rank increases, you will access to you will have access to new outfits. Okay. You see right here, I do have the fresh clothes right here, but I did bought, uh, when I first bought this game, I bought a DLC, so I have this really cool outfit, look, Crash the, crash the Dummy, looks very cool, oh, this is the one that I really want to use, the Ninja outfit, the Special Agent outfit, and the Urban Explorer outfit, but right now this is the only one that I can actually use. Okay Raheem, I'm ready, where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Okay, interesting. It looks like this is floor. going to be the part of the game where you actually get to do a little bit of training. Interesting. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Oh, what the heck? This guy is very reckless. <laughs> I love this guy. Press space to jump, grab the ledge you're looking at. Remember to look with the mouse at the ledge you want to grab. Okay. Oh, I actually did it. Sounds simple enough. And oh, wait, I have to go over there. Ah, I get it. <laughs> this is very crazy. I think I may, uh, may be like 15 uh, floors up. This is crazy. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Okay, are you like crazy? 
Or Maybe have you been sm smoking something strong? Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. <laughs> Watch this. He's actually going to do it. And Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! You Son bastard! Bitch. What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> eh? Ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! He seems like he it's likes rash, it. Isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing. So the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Ooh, I like this. A little bit of training won't hurt anybody. Okay, let me see. One and two and three and what? That worked. Uh, I guess I have to keep proving myself. Well, he's going to learn that I am something to be reckoned with. Okay. Understood. Okay, wait, which way? Oh, wait, right here. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't do that. Okay, understood. Need to learn how to do this correctly. Okay, now I can jump from the ledge to that other one and hmm, it's like second nature now. <laughs> But it shouldn't be too cocky. This is just a training. I'm okay. pretty sure Time there will be more that. difficult things all Get around. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Okay. Time to go back to the guy. And wait, let's see. Oh! There is actually something like the Batman vision from the Arkham games. They will show me the objectives. Okay, it's with Q, so it shows me even where and how far away the objective is. Okay, this is going to be very, very advantageous. What? Oh. What is happening to me? Uh, just because things were getting a little bit too to easy. Uh, something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit, I bet you're having your first seizure. Uh, I am going to ask about this for later, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to move because, like, well, look exactly where we were. Okay, where are you working? Oh, this way? Oh, wait, there you are. I'm here. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. She'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Okay, that sounds like a very good idea. So I guess this and seeing uh, what they keep calling is some kind of like suppressant. So I don't turn, but I'm actually cured. Okay, so are you the quartermaster? Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, Fair enough. this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizin. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. 
And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> mm, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. I'll keep them in mind. Okay, rusty adjustable wrench, lock pig, med kit, and metal parts. Mm hmm, interesting. Oh, yeah, and also the table leg. Okay, so. So apparently, there is going to be plenty of side missions to go around. And now, the real action is going to start. I'm actually going to go outside this time. Okay, sorry. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay. The real shit starts now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm outside. Okay, noob. You got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced and plain court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. Oh. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Okay. Well, at least I have the the map. It helps me look around. No, it's actually not really that far away. But I have to be careful. I don't see any zombies around, which is actually worrying me just a little bit. I will assume that I will see so many zombies all around. I need to keep my eyes open. It should be. Oh, I think I just heard something. Oh, speaking of the devil. Ooh. Red barrel with uh, like liquid coming out. If video game logic has taught me anything, is that that thing is flammable and most likely explosive. Okay, so at this point, they can't really see me, so I'm actually starting to learn their field of vision. And I think the slow ones can't really climb. But I need to move. Like, I would really like to face them, but there are too many. And my weapons and my experience is not really high enough. Come on, up and out. Doctor, hello. Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both Antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We'd been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. And smelling at the next mission. Experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. 
In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Seems like he's one of the very important NPCs of the game. Speed keeps you alive, so don't slow. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you for a while, which is good. I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Oh, survivor rank up. Mm, I was checking this part. I think it's here. Oh yeah, you have skill points to spend. Spe select one of the skill trees to spend your points. Okay, survivor. So I guess there is survivor rank, agility level, and power level. Mm -hmm. Survivor rank. It feels like uh, something that you get for progressing the game. Agility is for moving around, and power level maybe to uh, for kicking ass. Hmm, this sounds like fun. Okay, survival starter key, learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival. Love picks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars, and Molotov cocktails. Huh. I feel like Molotov cocktails are going to be the most useful among those things. That after love picks. Oh. Oh, this is the guy that I'm supposed to talk to. Hey Spike, I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antisense. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. But the trouble is, the airdrops with antisense keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antisense, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. Good. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have a real action in mission to come. What kind of dangers, what kind of difficulties am I going to have to deal with? I don't know. But what I'm sure is that with your help, with your viewership, with your likes, and with you subscribing to my channel, I will be able to face any danger, any zombie, and whatever comes my way. I'll see you guys next time. God bless you and good night.